The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this uh, 23rd day of May. <clears throat> Happy birthday to my brother. 33,239, down 47 on the Dow, right above the 200 period exponential moving average. I said in, my, in the show I just did a few moments ago, I, I sat in for uh, Tommy Jr. who couldn't do the show. I said, uh, it, there's a pattern that I look at straight line down makes a little arch formation looks like a lowercase h if it doesn't take out that left side low it could then make another h and then you've got to be careful because if that h takes out the left side low it can go a lot lower so we're looking at this askance and saying okay you tell us what's next because right now you you stuck in the middle of a range you haven't made you're making lower highs but you're also making higher lows so that v-shaped pattern is going to change at some point just to make it real clear a close under 32,900 would be uh, saying that we can go quite a bit lower looking at the S&P now this is so fascinating look the S&P is down 11 at 4180 it has, in Chapman methodology, we're always looking for four higher peaks. A buy signal gets upgraded to a, a buy mode, and that implies if the technicals are still strong, it should go to at least four higher peaks, which is peak A first, peak B second, peak C third. It should go to a D. That means it should go to 42.12.92. A penny above starts a leg D, but... At the same time, it could make a little pattern here that says it can go so close or preferably one penny above the high of yesterday of 4209.22, go to 4209.23, and then maybe fail. And that's like a Chapman Wave peak C1, C2, double top. Uh, we're watching. That's what I'm anticipating, that we're going to have says enough internal strength still to have a pop to the, up, a pop to the upside and then... We've got to be careful. It doesn't say, oh, that means you're going down. It just says you've got to be real careful because the weekly chart, look at this, leg D, maybe a peak D if we don't make a new uh, recovery high this week. But so far, the technicals, the MACD is good, stochastic is good, 9 over the 14. All of this is really positive. And if you look at the monthly chart, finally out of the Chapman Wave inside track, repellent zone has gone to a propellant zone. And you've got a Fibonacci 23.8. A uh, level at 4,206, I believe it is. It's a little far away for me to see. And that's getting close as resistance. So I like what I'm seeing right now in the short term. Uh, for subscribe to my opening call, we've got a plan in place that we will start a short position, but only under certain conditions, a certain price, that is. We get to QQQ. It already made a leg D. <clears throat> Yesterday it went, uh, I should have put that in. I forgot to type it in, to 338, I believe, 3338, something seven. Uh, there it is, 338.67. 338, I'll just type that in, 338. Point. I'll make it nice and light because it's only there as a reference point. It doesn't mean a thing it's other than to tell me that's where it went to. Okay, now what's really important about the phase that we're in at this particular stage is that the, the NASDAQ is starting to lead. Now, I, I need to read this. Um, yeah. Are you aware that five stocks, this is uh, one of our listeners, are, are you aware that uh, five stocks now make up 22% of the S&P 500? That's not a healthy market. That's five overvalued stocks, but it gets much better than that. <clears throat> Apple now has a bigger market cap than the whole Russell 2000. It certainly has a bigger market cap than majority of countries in the world. Um, uh, then the whole Russell 2000. These are numbers never seen before. But what's even more amazing is in the most indexes, we're far off the highs in a bear market with interest rates going higher. You would do a great service letting your clients understand this. So um, I don't disagree about what's said there, but I'm also uh, of the opinion that price is the arbiter of a trend. You can look at the technicals and they're going to give you a tremendous amount of help, but it is the price that is the arbiter of the trend. And the price right now is saying, 
The technicals are confirming the rally, say in the queue, the IWM maybe not. The IWM is trading up today. Uh, in fact, the queues are, are down 0.27%, but the Russell 2000 small caps are up 0.79%. The Dow is down 0.07%. S&P is down 0.21%. So you've got leadership all of a sudden in the iShares Russell 2000. I like that. And that's just saying to me the rotation that I've been talking about since the summer of 2010. You remember, we went along the very day of the low, March the 6th of 2009, via options, then the Dow, uh, the Dow, the Diamonds. Um, as far as I'm concerned, what we're looking at is this rotation says that a serious market decline um, can be avoided if we can constantly rotate through what's being good, then takes a breather, what's being weak starts to rally. And in that context, certainly this W formation, now let me draw this in, and this is a buy mode in the daily chart of the IWM, it means it should go to a D, it doesn't have to, it's failed before to see. Now I'm going to go to this because this is what's called a restart. Now it took me a little while because eyeballs in the, in the uh, Tiger YouTube, this is not the first time he's asked me if this is an instant restart. And then I, I did it once before and I said, something's not this. The question, it's a misunderstanding of the question I know of, of my technique, but now I've got it. So the question, I think what you mean is, um, CVX rejected the dreaded H, correct? Um, and where was it? Uh, yeah, Basil, CVX, instant restart. So no, no, no. I think what you mean, remember an instant restart can only occur at a peak D in the Chapman Wave methodology. It means within three bars, you make a new high after the peak is made, and that goes E slash A, because they can have a brand new buy mode to go to another four higher peaks, a fantastic technique. But I think what you mean is a restart. The restart says you keep coming off the low. You haven't taken out the original low, in this case in IWM. I'm just using this as, a, as an example. The low of 167.46. I'm going to type that in. 167.46. And that was March. That wasn't the 13th, was it? That was March the 20, 24th. So March the 24th, it makes a low. And it keeps rallying, but it keeps failing. But now look what's happened. It hasn't taken out the left side low, even when it went to that trough D at 168 or something. It never took it out. This is a restart, and it's very bullish. If there are a whole bunch of, oh, did I just say it's very bullish? I did. It's very positive. I, I shouldn't say bullish, because bullish means that there's a really huge upside. All it says is that, there should be upside action in the 181.86 level of the 200 period moving average would be your first serious resistance target. But you're already at a peak, a leg C. And if it starts to trade above the arch high that was made right here um, on the 18th of April of 179.63, if you can close sharply above that, two out of three sessions. That is really positive. That says it's just going to go through a D. And in fact, you might have made this whole rectangle formation with this double cup, U shape going to a W pattern. Very good support. Oh, thank you. But that's a restart. That's not instant restart. That's just a restart. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. 
The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. So what I meant to do earlier on, I actually was starting to do it and then I got back into the uh, into the charts, is that whenever I have this from this low that was made in the one minute evening, <clears throat> I go peak A and it's there. But then when I get a parallel high, especially if I get two, parallel highs, I take one of them as a peak. I call it a phantom peak. So this would have been, I could have left that, but this one here, I could have said, I'm taking that as a parallel high. I was just about to do it. I don't know why I didn't do it, because it, it was just too much talking, I guess. That would have been a phantom peak. And then what happens is, it goes peak C, and then this peak right here becomes D instead of C. Here I am at C, waiting for a D. But everything about it, look, the MACD turned down. Remember the stochastic I said, as long as it quickly turns down within about five bars and goes negative, you've got to be really careful. And that would have got a peak D. And if at whatever positions I was in, I could have taken something off and put a tighter stop. That would have been correct. That's exactly what I would normally do. I just I, I forgot to do it because I was busy. But that's what I, I wanted to clarify that. Now, let's go back here. So um, there's a technique that I've used before where I call it the volume, Chapman Wave price volume climax. At 45 round number low, Schwab on the 13th of March just capitulated and slammed down with the highest volume. My rule of thumb is that if it doesn't, if it holds above the gap down bar high, it can go 28 sessions without taking out the left side low. If after that it is holding above that, it can go 56. But in this particular instance, isn't it fascinating that the 45 low, and this is, I don't want to count it right now, but I wouldn't be surprised if this is at least 45 sessions since that low was made. Um, and here we are at 52.75, not having taken out that low. And you've got a rectangle formation. So this is what I, I want you to bring this up because it just went to a buy signal, to a buy mode, and it went to a peak, a leg D right now. But the tiniest little rally says it's still quite vulnerable. And this is part of the IAI, the broker dealer ETF. And that just says to me, we're not ready for prime time in the whole financial sector. And look at the XLF, just stuck in a range down nine cents today at the 256. And when you think of yields going so much higher, look at the TNX, TNX.X, there we go, TNX. <clears throat> There's another restart. Look, it went to a peak A and failed, and then it went to a peak 
A right there. O2, O1, there it is. Peak A, peak B fails. Let me show you right here. No, wait a minute. This is another one. You've got to remember your objective in the Chapman wave is not to miss a single peak or trough. 60, 60, 60. Okay, so that's fine. So here we've got um, A, B, pulls back, holds the left side low. So this is an A and a B right there. This is an A, but that's not a B, the next one, because that's over all the others. So this is a leg C. So all of a sudden, the yields are leg C in a buy mode. It should go to D. So that means yields can go a little longer to the upside um, using this technique. So this is the restart. Look, peak A, peak B comes down, doesn't take out the initial uh, starting point at about 3260. <clears throat> And every peak above it, above this, has to be counted. So that's peak A, peak B, pulls back, peak A, peak B. It's not a failure because it didn't take it out that low. And then it goes peak A, and now all of them get taken out, and it's leg C. That's a restart, and that's positive. So now the question was about CVX. So here we go, CVX. So CVX is trading right now at uh, 154.40. Uh, Sorry, 156.72 of 4.27. So I think your question is, yes. So your question is, is this a restart? And the answer is, yes, it is. That's not to say you can go to a buy signal, to a buy mode. It just says, yes, it's a restart at uh, 156. So I know that the uh, person who asked is often long, uh, may, maybe still holding Exxon, uh, Chevron, in a long position, CVX. So I'm going to say to you, if you are interested in this, you could start a small position if you haven't already at 156.70, but it's not giving any signal. The MACD isn't positive yet. Stochastic still just now over 20% at 21%. So, and nine is way under the 14. But if you're positive this and you're asking, is this the time to re-enter or to add to my position? I'd say I would do that but a lot has to happen for it to become a buy signal to buy mode. At this particular point, you'd have to say 156.75. Probably, I would say it's acting way better if you can see it trading at 158.70 to 159.63, somewhere in that range. But this is with, and I would have a tight stop. I wouldn't get carried away. It would just be like a small position to say, where are you going? And I would have a two a $2 stop initially, and if it can go above today's high of 157.66, I'd raise that stop, I'd have a trading stop, and I'd actually tighten the stop. But that's that's a restart. There's a chance that this is a restart, but it makes the H pattern, and this could be a lowercase m, I suspect that it'll stop below 161 to 159.50. That's a resistance area. I hope that helped you. Next question I had was, let me just run this down here. Okay, I wonder, you know, sometimes I talk about what what, I've, what we've done for subscribers, which is working well, um, but there are things that sometimes, <sighs> you know, you try to do, you try to be as human as possible, but you try to be as mechanical as possible as well. So we had a position IOVA, a stock that I've been watching for a long time. Oh, I can cry. I've been IOVANCE Biotherapeutics uh, integrates uh, nutritionals, therapeutics, and IT autoimmune diseases. So it was acting so well here, and I had drawn in this whole plan, and I drawn in the Chapman wave. In, um, this is the wedge resistance support line. I done everything, and I said the left side. I'm not going to the top of 9.49. I'm going to this high right here of um, 7.62. I even wrote in 7.62 with a left side, right side price time match everything there, and we got into it. And then I got a little nervous. I wanted to add. We got into a position, and I said we're not going to have the two positions. And I, if we had kept the two positions, the stop would have held. And both positions would have been an average price. I, I'm just guessing right now. I'm doing it off the top of my head of about 7.43, and it's trading at 8.84 today. Uh, a fabulous move. It went right to leg D to the 200-period moving average. 
uh, a little later than I anticipated for the left side, right side price time match. But it did everything. But now for the inside wedge target, it went right to it yesterday. And now I have to raise this leg. We're not in it, unfortunately. We, it was not, I did all the homework, but I got a little cautious because of I got a little nervous because it took a couple of bars after peak C. And I thought, oh, it's going to take a little time. I like it. I said I like it looking out. I just in the very short term. So we took a little bit of a loss, and then it did everything I wanted. So sometimes I get in the way of the of the decisions that were made. I should not change the decision. I did the homework, and look at it today at eight dollars and eighty one cents. Just a day alone is up ten percent. Yesterday was up over ten percent. Well, if that's what happens, sorry about that, subscribers. We do our best. I, I know one of you, one or two of you have actually kept it, but that's not the issue. Technically, missed it. Uh, Dow is now only down six now. S&P is down five. I'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 Days Risk-Free today. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. So a uh, question came in with AQST. Why, uh, why is the stock leg C? The reason is particularly chart. The low was the low. You have to go to the original low, and that low was at 79 cents, 77 cents. Uh, the week of the 4th of, of July of 2022. Okay, it was the 4th of July. And um, so this is peak A, that's peak B, and then it pulls back, but it never took out the low. It went all the way back down to the uh, as point... What I said was? 
Oh, 0.62 level, 0.62. Double bottom, 0.62, the week of the um, 1st and the 8th of July. The double bottom at, uh, so this is this is higher. So that means I got to keep the count. So this is A, B. And then from there, that becomes an A, that becomes an A, that becomes B because it's higher right there. Oh, what am I doing? Why is it GC there? So this is an A. Right there, that's an A. And then this is also an A. These are gray A's because they're all underneath. That's an A, that's an A. That becomes a B because from that low, that's higher than that A, so that's a B. Then this is also an A. And then there comes a C. So I'm just looking from that low, just count the alphabet up, and it goes C, D, and this is an E. Okay, I hope that helps you. I've just found that that's the best. Now, there's another technique that I use, and that says <clears throat> on a purely visual basis, the MACD kissed and then moved uh, uh, and um, bounced up, deflected higher back in March of this year, but the stochastic went under 20%. And then you could technically, yes, start this as your own ABC but I'm doing it technically the way I've always done it, and that's from the original low. So this you could say, you know, maybe it's a C. That maybe is an alternate count, but I'm sticking with the major one. All right, so a couple of questions came. Yeah, so Frank, I've been trying to answer that question in all the things I've done right now. So let me just do this. Um, the question is, what upgrades from a buy signal to a buy mode? So let me just do it this way around. Um, I'd like to do it current. So let me see if I can do it current here. Yeah, okay. So in this particular instance, the reason why I like to use the phantom peak is because it moves in quarter, cent, uh, quarter point increments in the E-mini. So if it was 0.01, that's I would have got some kind of a peak there. But when I get a, a, when it has a parallel high and I got a little hiccup in one of the one of the technical tools, I say I, I can use that. That's legitimate. And look, it got got me out at this. If I was in it, which I wasn't because I was doing my show, but if I was in, I would have got out here and I would have said, okay, wherever it goes, that's fine. I'm using this as a phantom peak B, and that makes that a D. Now. In this particular instance right now, you see the stochastic went under 20% and over. So the rule of thumb in, in Chapman Wave methodology is you try to identify the lowest low by a sharp move down and then a nice reversal. But what you need to see is uh, that is after you've made a peak D or E or F, but you've come down and now you're starting to look at, at it freshly for a brand new signal. What you want is a good price move to the upside. You want the stochastic to go preferably under 10% and then move up. But you want the stochastic to cross positive. In this case, it went under 20, cross positive. You want to see a good price movement in the symbol that you're following. And you want the MACD to start to improve. You want the on-balance volume preferably to give you an ictus right on the low and turn around, which it did a day before. So that's a good sign. So, so far, the E-mini one-minute chart has gone from a buy, is in a buy signal because it went to a peak A, held very nicely, then it went to a peak B, and it's still holding well, and the nine period moving average is strong, and the MACD is good, and the stochastic is, now, I've got to watch this closely, because the stochastic, remember before it failed right there, only five or six bars, it went from over 80 to under 80, that's just, I don't like that at all. This has done the same thing. So this rally in the stochastic is going to give me the opportunity to say, if it breaks above B, it's going to go to a buy mode, and I've now got a buy an upgrade from a buy signal to a buy mode. It's trying to do that right now. And then what I do is, as I'm doing, I actually do my note. I do all the stuff while I'm trading, even a one-minute chart, and it's it's kind of tough to do sometimes. One hand's ready to get out. One hand is doing all the notations. But look at this. I would do this as it's moving right now, and I'd say, oh, that's a little bit too quick, but at least I've drawn it in. It's giving me an idea that from this trough on the left to that side, look, it's already, it looks like it's not going to get there, but it has made a peak C, 
And the fact is, because stochastic is still not over 80%, it's so 76%. A lot of work needs to be done. So then what I do is I say, okay, everything's good. I haven't got stopped out of whatever it is. Um, I have to put an up arrow because I believe that from everything I'm looking at, this is a buy mode. And now I say, but it's already this bar is way underneath my target on the right side. What can I do? Well, then what I do is I say, okay, if you if you haven't got one uh, one hand on ready to get out, I, I try to look for a, a particular candle. In this particular instance, I go to this particular candle right here, and then I go to the right side, and I say, okay, you can do anything you want. You're the price. I'm not. I'm just following the dictates of the price as much as I can to the best of my ability. I'm in, and I've got a tight stop, and all I can say is. I've got a target of by 10.43 this morning to get to the high of 41.98.50, and we're at 41.94.75. A lot of work needs to be done. That's the way I would do it. So this technically, I, I, I'm upset because it's not holding above 80%. If this was holding above 80%, I'd say absolutely buy mode. I'm expecting a D. Right now I'm saying I want to see the stochastic go from 68 to 82 percent to give me a confirmation. So that's the way I look at it. I'll do more of these. Um, uh, I'll do more of these live to show you exactly what I, I'm doing um, this week. And uh, so now with that said, uh, it's 10.37. So there's a lot to be done. I need to do this right now. Um, I want to show you a couple of things. The GDX trading at 31.65 right now. You see this little pattern here. This is a little arch, and it's making this dreaded H. It made one dreaded. It's made one dreaded H failure right there. A second dreaded H failure right there. What's the dreaded H for those of you just tuned in? It's this pattern that I always talk about. It's where you've got. Whoops. It's where you've come down sharply, you have a rally that only goes to a peak A or a B and then fails and takes out the left side low. You've got three bars in which to get back above that left side low. If it doesn't, there's a good chance you're going to go even deeper down. Um, so we've done that once, once, you've done it twice, and you've done it three times. So that says that if the GDX at any point starts to trade at 31.23 or lower, there's just a very good chance you're going to hit the 30.95. 30.65 there. Um, so that's it. And then when I do a left side, right side, price time match, maybe I'll do that. I do that to this over here. I'll do it during the break. No, I'll do it. I want to do it live. I'm going to go from here to the midpoint and then to the right. And then I'll give you my time axis. I'll be back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today 
and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, folks. So we did this live. I was doing this as we were talking. Peak AP, what's the objective in the chat wave to get you from a buy signal? Upgrade to a buy mode to get you to at least a D. Well, we did that. Peak A, peak B, peak C, and we went to a D just underneath my target, which was at 48. What did I say? 1043. I wanted to hit the high of the first uh, of one minute past 10 of 4198.50. So we went to 4197. We just missed it. And that was a peak D. So that's the objective. So now it's pulling back. But what's really interesting is where did it stop? Look at the 10 minute chart. The chart we're falling X formation. Look at this long term trend line. It's just out the outer limits of the of the wick of each candle. And it hit it exactly and it pulled back. If it starts to break out and can get to 4205 at any point today. Oh, no, even 42.02, then the 42.04, 200 period moving average becomes a magnet to the upside. So you just go step by step, and that's all that you, know, that's all you can do. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk about is I had questions, and I'm going to do them right now, about UNG. And I said yesterday, I just don't quite, oh, let me just show you. The GDX has a target of um, 30.74, and that's by, I'm, I'm giving you a little room by the end of the month, by, by next week. That's where it should hit. You could do it sooner. I'm just saying this is a technique that I like to use, and this extends it. And there's your chapter wave inside wedge, target, support line, not a repellent. It's pink, so it means it's a repellent zone right there. Okay, um, that's that. Now, the other thing I want to do is UNG, UNG. I said yesterday, I don't like the action. Just be really careful. It pulled back way too much. And now it's trading at 6.95, down five cents. It's uh, this is the United States Natural Gas Fund. It's just telling me that we, it, it's not ready for prime time. It's trying to build a base, but that base this is this is another restart. But in this case, it's a restart that failed so far because it went to a peak C, and this is a much deeper decline than it should have had. But it doesn't mean to say it couldn't go to a D because the MACD is good. Stochastics at 75%. It was at over 80 yesterday, and now it's at 75. So, and the on-bounds volume is really weak, and the red for strength is weak in the daily chart. So it just needs a lot more work. Also, I don't think this is the season for natural gas to start moving up much. Um, so I just want to review that, that statement before about just a handful of stocks. We've seen this many times before where a handful of stocks are leading the market. I, I don't like that. I like to see a broadening. I have seen a broadening. If you look at ARKK, tell me this is not a broadening of the market. Look at that. Up 57 cents today. This is ARK Innovation ETF. Remember, I said that I think that it's making some kind of a bottom that's important. And this is going to be, um, it's going to start feeding into the stocks that were horrible failures. And that just makes us a viable entity right now. We don't have it. I meant to get into it. Um, because I think this is a phase where you've got tremendous support 
Uh, it's at 41 right now. I think the whole the whole 38 to 37 area should be very strong resistance uh, support on any major pullback. And that's what I'm talking about, the rotation. The other thing I was asked about is um, you've mentioned Bank of America before. Where does it stand? This is not bad action. Uh, a, B, this is a leg C right now. So here's your A. You failed at the B before. Here's A. Here's a B. Here's a C. I just want to double check by one penny if that's a. This is 67 and that was 67. That's what I thought. Yeah. So this is a leg C, but it's such a tiny move up. And the MACD's okay. The stochastic's rallying at 69%. Just a lot of work needs to be done. A question came up about. KRE, uh, KRE, yep, also, and I, we were in it for at uh, 37.52, took a little bit of a loss. Now it's at 41.46. It also did this Chapman Wave price volume climax. I, I'm beginning to think that this really was a climax and that this is an A, this is now a new leg B. I wouldn't, uh, if someone's asking about buying it, uh, you could nibble right here. Um, I'd have a fairly tight stop, nibble at uh, 41.47, and I would I would probably say a two and a half to three point stop just initially, just to give it room. Just this this needs time to really build um, energy to the upside. It's starting to do that. This is the S&P Regional Banking ETF. I, I kind of like what I'm seeing right now, but it's got all this resistance in the 44s that it has to break out of, and it has to do it quite significantly. Okay, another question I had was, where did it go? Whoops, where did it go? Um, I wrote it down. Oh, that's right, Apple. So Apple right now is down $1.26 at 172.94. It made a peak E a few days ago in this, oh, I meant to change that. I'll do it right now. I had this as a trend line, but I didn't correct it. I knew it, it missed, and then I forgot to go back to it. You see this line? I call this the inside track repellent zone. And I do it with a tiny, a mini channel. I make it pink and green. And if it, if it decisively on the way up takes out the green, that's really good. But look how it's been resistance. This is a nice technique, such a simple technique. A trend line going to the outer limits of each candle, and it hits it. I like to do it twice, of course, but three times is great, four times even better. And the inside track, look how it stops at the inside track repellent line, the pink one, and it pulls back. And that just says Apple, the MACD, well, first of all, the 9 is over the 14. The MACD has turned negative. The stochastic's at 87%. That's good, but it is almost turning down, but it hasn't turned down yet. On balance volume is slipping. So that just says you've got a peak, a leg C in the weekly chart. It did a beautiful price tie match one week early to the target of the high that was made the week of the 19th of August of 176.15. So now it's pulling back a bit, but that weekly chart is fabulously strong. So unless Apple trades at 160 sometime in June, I, I would say this is still very good action, and the monthly chart is improving a lot. So as a short, if you're trading uh, Apple as a short, you can treat it as a very short-term position. Um, looking out, though, I think this is going to go higher. I, I would say that the 182.94 all-time high of January 2022 is in play in 2033 this year. I think it's going to be hit. But in the shorter term, it's getting a little bit toppy. Um, and I would just put it this way. If in the next, by Friday, by Friday's close, if it does close under 170.42, I'm going to say if it closes under 169, then this consolidation go a little longer. But in the meantime, it's just more just a digestive big move up and it's having a little bit of a rest. Uh, the next question came in and I said I'd look at it was, um, yeah, let, let me just tell you. Um, in my screamer list, I mentioned today to subscribers that if you're a subscriber, you can use this and do your own homework. I just didn't want to do anything because I'm really focusing on the market right now and the two misses we had yesterday. One was that I, I, IOVA, which is now up uh, almost 10%. Uh, it just, it's upsetting. But look, this is one that I had 
yesterday's stream at Lake C. I tra it stopped at about 9, 9, uh, 918. Now it's at 936. It's acting so well. It's Solar Winds Corporation. So I put this down as stocks that you can watch. I'll be right back. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with the Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In the Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs. Enjoy Join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFNN.com. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. I just want to mention a couple of things. Actually, I've got a stock up there, some, some body, which we along. It's up 57. This is a good one. I'll do this tomorrow. I'll talk about the buy signal that goes to a buy mode and what happens when it reaches the potential double top how do you deal with it? I'll talk about that. But what I wanted to say is I've got a list here. It says 16 on my screamer list. I have 16 stocks that are, are flashing now. These are single digit stocks that are breaking out. One that I, I, I put in my newsletter, uh, but we don't own it, NVTS. Look at this, no, Novartis uh, Semiconductors trading up 41 cents, up almost 5%, up at 9.57 today. In leg D, now it goes to a leg E, a leg D in the weekly. Look at this beautiful weekly symmetry of the bars. There are so many, I, I, you know, SWI was one that we had. Oh, I mentioned that already. Um, and now they're flashing. It's just a SBS, SBCE. We don't have this. I've got a lot of these actually are written down in my screamer list, and that's stocks that, are, that are, appeal to me. But I haven't, we haven't got any position. I just put them so I don't forget them. Uh, look at this move here, up 29 cents, up 5.8%. So there are a lot of these things that are suddenly, here's one that I used to, um, I liked a lot before, and then it took a big dive. Sana Biotech Inc. Repair and Control Genes and Cells. 
um, or um, replace the, the genes, so uh, the cells. So isn't this interesting? It's up um, 34 cents, up 4.5 today. And I stopped counting it over there because I thought, gee, is this going to still keep going? Yeah, they do. These say, look at this. I put in a B there. With a, I drew the price time match. And here it is in the B in the weekly chart. It's uh, and how do you how do you how do you deal with these things? So this week I said for subscribers, we're going to get back into some of these real low priced ones. See if we can use them as trades while this market is starting to digest some some pretty big gains in certain sectors. I'll be back with Tom later on today. Have a great show. Stay tuned for Steve Rose and all the great programming. And check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. See you later. Autumn helps.